The United Nations, uh, the Joint Human Rights Office in particular, uh, is extremely concerned uh, at an increase uh, in serious human rights violations committed against civilians uh, by armed groups operating in the eastern part uh, of the, the Democratic Republic of Congo, in particular in the southern part uh, of the province of North Kivu. Uh, we've seen a spate uh, of killings, uh, burning of villages, attacks against civilians uh, since uh, the beginning of April, um, and the victims of these attacks have been primarily women and children. Our teams have uh, documented serious human rights violations through attacks in uh, at least 45 villages, very likely more. Some of these villages have been burned in their entirety. Um, there have been uh, thousands of civilians displaced uh, due to the attacks, uh, and our uh, investigators uh, have conducted dozens uh, and dozens of uh, interviews uh, with victims, some of whom still, still bleeding, uh, very recently attacked by one or another of the, the armed groups. Since the beginning of April, there have been a number of uh, desertions, defections from the Congolese army uh, and the creation of an armed movement, uh, a new one called the M23 in eastern Congo. Uh, with these defections um, has, uh, and the creation of a new armed movement, the Congolese army uh, and to a great extent uh, MONUSCO uh, military forces have been displaced and have refocused their attention to try to contain uh, the M23 armed movement. This has left a security vacuum uh, in many parts of eastern Congo. What we're seeing in many of these uh, provinces and remote areas are armed groups taking advantage of a security vacuum to expand their territory, uh, seeking basically uh, access to uh, mines, to other economic resources. Uh, and in doing so, uh, they're carrying out grave human rights violations, attacking civilians.